Hey guys, it's Michelle and this is just a very quick tip, hints and tips for wig wearers. And this might seem totally common sense and you might think that I'm thick as mince for actually making this video to show you guys, but this is just how, uh, this never occurred to me in the past and that's why I'm making the video. Um, if you want to know where a wig lengths are going to sit on you, a good way to do that, very easy way to do that is to measure your face. Now for me, I used to always wonder, Mm, the front and that's eight inches. Is that going to be? Mm, I'm not into things cutting me here. I prefer kind of here and down. How do I know? And it sounds so stupid that I didn't really think. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Like now I feel a bit daft that I didn't think of it in the past. But honestly, for like two years I didn't think of doing this. Is to actually measure where your wig sits. So if my wig is starting off here, and say the front length on my wig is eight inches, if I grab a measuring tape. Here's eight inches. If I set it here, eight inches is going to cut me right on my chin, sort of level there. That's where eight inches will be. If something is 14 inches for me from top, if it's a 14 inch overall, it's going to hit me just here. Now, obviously, wigs are going to hit people differently depending on the size of your face, the length of your neck, the length of your upper body and your torso. Um, for example, the John and o Kim wig has 20 inches at the nape and on some people who are more petite and smaller and shorter stature than myself who is five foot nine, that is like uber long and for some people it's literally right down to their bahookie, right down to their bottom. Um, on me, 20 inches from the top, from my nape, I'll show you. 20 inches from my nape is to, where's my nape there, 20 inches in me is to here. So I had on a Kim before and somebody asked me if it was Blake and I was like what? But she was only 5 foot, 5 foot 2, 5 foot 3 and she thought I was wearing Blake because Kim looks on me how Blake looks on her and that's just to do with my height and yeah so it's just a wee simple hint and tip. If you want to know where a wig's going to sit and what part of your body it's going to hit when it's full length, just measure from where the wig will be on you to the length it's going to be. And that's that. Likewise, if you are going for custom or you're getting anything specific done, then by all means, certainly if you think I want a wig and it's going to sit here, then absolutely you just measure from the top point to absolutely here and that's where your wig will sit. Likewise, if you guys, um, I've got a couple of customers who generally for custom, obviously I would advise people see me for a face-to-face -face consultation and that way I would take a head mould, we would do that sort of thing. But for some people they have asked me, I just want the exact cap that comes like for example the John and O hand ties cap an average is perfect it's snug as a glove on me I love it it's comfortable um, I love this wig but I just want the front to be a bit longer I want the layers a bit longer could I get say uh, for example Blake and could I maybe just have an extra inch at the front so yeah that can be done that's fine or if you go well I really like Blake but I actually want the front section to be sitting about about here I want it shorter but I want the rest the same um just for example or I want a total custom wig I want the full wig to be sitting at this level right here on me just measure where you want it to and if you know the cap that you're wanting and you just want an average size standard hand tied cap but you want your wig to sit exactly here on you measure to that and then you can get your wig done, you can have a custom done like that, that's not a problem. Anyway, that was just a wee hint and tip for you guys, hope it's been helpful, I will see you all very soon. Bye!